All right, everyone. So, welcome back for the real finals of the Duelist Melee. Um, Kieran won. TM beat Pierced in losers, in a losers semis, and Kieran beat TM in losers finals. So, we have to play uh, one or two sets against Kieran here. Yeah. yeah. So if uh, if we win one set, we win. He has to win two sets. What that probably means is we're in for six grueling duelist games, at which point fatigue will start to get the better of me. But let's go at it. Uh, we have we have a lot of games to figure out how to beat his his Brome Titan Swarm deck. This is what we ended on last time. Which I think is probably pretty good. Lionar versus Lionar. Um Yeah, I think we can cut Sanctify for aggro. We just want to be able to kill him quick. Because there's no way we outvalue him. Titan just swings games too fast, too hard. Good luck. May you never draw a two or three drop. <laughs> okay. Too early. Um... Mystic probably contests the board a bit better. That's like 80% of this deck. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. But Mystic is better if our next card is some Fortune Lancer. So we're gonna hold it. Strope. Oh my god. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. What can we do? You can make him trade into the Silver Guard. Then the question becomes whether it's better to equip Vitriol or play Healing Mystic. And you know, Healing Mystic will do two damage no matter what, so I think it's probably the better play. Do we play it here? Then, if he has one damage, he can get his Surge Forger to trade into it. If you play it here, it's safe, but it's also kind of out of the game. That's okay, because we're following up with Sunriser. So we need to have something to be able to heal. I'm not sure if that's right or not. He's doing it again with the turn one Surge Forger. This is how we lost first game last last game. Last set. And we haven't boarded in the answers yet. So very smart by him. That's scary. Don't play a one drop. Boo. Okay, that dies to Mystic. Nope, not if he goes there. Good play. Boo. 
play this and pray. We don't have it. We don't have heal tiles, so that's less good. We really do have to start killing this, so I think I'm going to punch this. I guess it doesn't make a difference what I punch. I'm sure we'll be taking a lot more damage, so I'm not worried about putting more damage onto myself. So I think we can safely summarize it this way. Um... And then this, we just want to be in the fight. I think we're going to have minions to heal, so we just want this to be relevant. Oh boy. We're just going to be too far behind. We're not going to be ahead enough when he plays Titan. Okay. Dice for free. Thank you. This is fine. We need some way to kill things. Doesn't quite do it. So we're taking 10 right now. Is the long and the short of it. This can be safe. And this as well, safe. We need to make sure he can't hit it with everything, because then it dies to uh, the card that is Arcolite Sentinel. Okay. If we can keep his board clear, Titan might not be game winning. I played this badly. I shouldn't have given him save squares from the spell jammer. That's entirely my mistake. Not that I think it would have helped. Uh, we're just dead to Titan. Oh, we're just dead on board. Yep. Yeah, that was our mistake. Fatigue and tilt getting to us. Is that it? So this is what we boarded into last time. These are for Surge Forger. 
and exclusively search for you. Aggro to or like burn damage so we can run away and burn. Which I think gives us a good shot. We did take out Sanctify. So we have to draw some Rhodes Clerics for cheap heal combos, but that's okay. Alright, here we go. We've brought it over to burn Zeran to try and uh, have a way of winning through Titan that doesn't involve holding the board. Too early. That's good to play. We don't need both of these. Uh, that's not worth keeping when we play a one. Okay. I'm going to save this. I would play at turn one if we had uh, heal combo cards in our hand, but we don't. Replicant? Aurora. Interesting. <laughs> Cleric. It's rather unfortunate. I don't want this to live, so we're going to loosen beam it and trade our board in. Feels weird. I think it's what we have to do. That was a good start from him. Now the question comes, do we deny the mana? We'll play it on ourselves. And I think the answer is deny the mana, because Brim with mana is scary. <laughs> Jesus Christ, double doom gazer. That's the swarm stat. Thunderhorn? You've got to be kidding me. Took out the circles. That's interesting though. Why would you bring that in? I mean, it's clearly working. So this would appear to be... We can go to four attack. So let's do that. His swarm payoff is Titan, which is a bit far away right now. Yes. Okay. So we're not worried about all these, because he can't run Congregation. Fair enough. That means he's Lightbendering. Which we could have played around.
We're not gonna sun bloom the thunderhorn, that makes no sense. We're gonna wait till we can kill kill stuff with Sunraiser. We can't kill the Thunderhorn, so it's not a good play here. Okay, this. Do we hit this? That's the question I don't know. Can play Jammer here. I move it one back. That way you can't kill this for free. We really have to hope he plays into Sunraiser here. This is a hard matchup just because Titan is. It's so strong when it hits. And he's doing a good job making sure he has a board, so I have to deal with clearing his board every turn, and that means I can't deal with setting up my own stuff. So we can't put him under enough pressure. Sentinel, sure. Can't put him under enough pressure where uh, Titan isn't effective. He's playing around Sunraiser. Is he? Not really. What? What kind of bullshit spawn is that? <laughs> Sunstrike. Can I target this column, please? We can put a sunrise over there. Then we only get one proc, one heal proc. I don't know. got such a huge board. What do we do? I don't think we're dead on board the Titan, but we're basically dead. The Appearance Claim is a good pickup. That could potentially dig us out. He's gonna kill the jammer. Then we need him to play lots of cards and run out of cards and then draw our Trinity Earths. That's the way we can win the game. He can if he tightens he can just clear our whole board. I don't think we can come back from that. It's 
not going for it. Maybe he doesn't have Titan. Okay, that's not how I would have Titaned. Holy crap, we get so many heal procs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're in this. We're in this. I like Immo better than Sunstrike. Maybe. Maybe not, to be honest. Well... Yeah, because Brom naturally plays into Sunstrike. With his Blood Bond spell. Wait, we don't get any heal procs. We can clear his artifacts and go to 7. That seems alright. Yo, if these guys, if there was a way to leave these guys damaged, then we would be in a good spot. But as it is, we have to trade everything in. I'm doing it this way so he has to answer the Sun Razor. That's nice. The thing about um, Imperion's claim against Titan is there isn't much of a way they can actually play around it. Because they're always going to have to play the minions around themselves in a 3x3. Three three. EMP. Okay. Do you just do this again? I think we can replace Silver Guard. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, let's just do it again. He's running away. We can win if he runs away. Can we? Or should we wait for more value? I mean, what's the other option? We can't really kill this with damage. So you think we just have to do it again? So here's the damage. We're drawing damage. This is three, seven, potentially more. Silver guard. We win.
Okay. Three, seven, five. Seven plus five is twelve. I think we got him. Do we? No, because we need to heal something. Oh my god. Okay, this is never hitting face. Immo. Three. That's it. That's lethal. Three. Eight is eleven. We can hit with face. Something was healed. And we got him. Oh my goodness. It's 1-1. One, one. Lucent Beam coming in clutch there. Yeah, I think the uh, the gold vitriols are pretty weak here, because he either plays stuff with a lot of health or he plays lots of stuff. Like, uh, it's not going to do anything against Titan, say. It does kind of give some finishing power. But I think I'd much rather finish with Sunstrike and Lucent Beam. And in the late game, when he's dropping stuff like EMP, uh, it loses it loses a lot of its power. So we are going to go for just fill in the list with the third jammer and put the two sanctify back in. Because we are finding ourselves without heal tiles a lot. Um, we could bring in the Circle of Life. Now he's boarded in Thunderhorn. But that Thunderhorn didn't really do much that game. So I'm not too worried about that. Alright guys, it's 1-1. In the first set of grand finals, if we win this, we win. Knowing me, I'll probably psych myself out, thinking, oh, I have a second set, and then we won't win. Because I'm probably not going to win if we play a second set, to be completely honest. Um, this is fantastic. This will answer turn one surge forger. So that's something. Um, Lucid Beam's always too awkward to get off early on. We're gonna go with that. Oh, we have some bloom. Perfect. If he does nothing scary, we can go up to 3 attack immediately. And get Lightbendered again like every other time we do that. I'm gonna ditch the Oath, I think. We can't afford the tempo hit yet. Aurora, fantastic. Jeez, this opening is obnoxious. Ignore? Ignore the Aurora? What's he gonna do? Hit us for 10? 
think that's okay for some reason. Yeah, we're gonna ignore the Aurora. this. How does he remove this? He, his only answer is still Lightbender. So it doesn't matter if we get value or not. And then the idea behind this is we can Sunstrike, which will heal our stuff. Have we played a Sunstrike yet, this set? We might not have done. So he might not know about it. I know he's not playing with Zixes and stuff, so that's the only reason I feel okay ignoring the Aurora. That kind of scary in Full Swarm, bro. Okay, sure. Please play into some blue. No, no such luck. This doesn't help. Can get four attack. This is now unanswerable if I put it back there. Um, I mean, he has to come in eventually, right? If we just don't fight. What's he gonna do? I think we win the long game. Oh, he's got Titan. That's what he's doing. Oh no, never mind, never mind. I didn't think he, I didn't think he had seven already. Yeah, let's just invite him to play the long game. You have no reason to approach. This is now out of bender range. So that's basically stuck forever, as far as I can tell. <laughs> as long as he's over there, I'm happy. If he comes closer, hopefully what is in our hand will help us kill his minions. Yeah, that much is definitely up for debate. He's having a tough turn. Bender, okay. Mystic. That 
buffed our general. This is going to be my play. Okay. These were blood root. These were uh, golden vitriols before, which wouldn't have been fantastic that turn either. I don't think. I think we're okay not bringing the golden vitriols if it comes to set two. He can hit us for lots of damage with the Aurora, but I think that's about all the value he can ever expect to get to it, to get from it. Obviously we have to kill it before Titan next turn. These sunblooms are looking a bit silly. Oh, he's backing off. That's fantastic. We only have one healing proc, so this doesn't quite do enough work. I honestly don't know who wins this standoff, because we're going to have a million attack. Just get a heal tile going. And play a Sunraiser. Not gonna stand on the heal tile though. And we know his only uh, real answer to stuff is gonna be. Uh, Lightbender. So we're spreading from Lightbender by putting those over there. We know his last card in hand is Titan. Question is whether we can win through that. That's going to involve finding a, a Aperion's Claim within the next couple of turns. It feels weird playing a naked Sunraiser, but he doesn't have an answer to it unless he Lightbenders there. He doesn't, uh... So, let's so like it's a solid 4 drop just to play, it just means that my hand is now a little bit lacking. Alright, let's see how he engages. Wispender, are you kidding me? So he doesn't have Titan, unless he got lucky. Unless he got really lucky, he doesn't have Titan. We 
wish I had Tempest in the board, honestly. Holy crap. The monster Sunstrike. Is that good enough? Right? We just play Sunstrike. He'll have one minion to hit us with with Titan. I think we're okay. Oh, we can stay out of range of his... Let's do that. We have to kill this at some point. Boy. He's out of cards. I don't care if that's over there, honestly. He doesn't have a way to bring it in. Such a card does not exist in the Lionel faction. There's not really a good holy immolation for us here. And we don't have a better play to just play than Trinity Oath. So we'll just play Trinity Oath to start. Interesting. Um, we have a lot of options. Double Holy Immolation is nice to hold on to. You can Sun Strike there and not deal with that. We can Sun Bloom, Lucent Beam that. That seems alright. Let's go for that. Or we do it the other way. Sun Bloom that. No. We were up there. We gave him free Titan value. I definitely wanted to come in there and kill that. But he is top decking. We've dealt with all his threats and he doesn't have Titan. We have to get ahead immediately.
Tough turn. Uh, Sun Bloom is bad. Sun Riser can't play it so it hits anything and doesn't die to Thunderhorn. Can't kill Thunderhorn. Can't reach with Holy Ammo. No good Sun Strike, so we just do nothing. This is okay. Uh, we don't want him to play Titan and be able to kill this for free. So we're going to leave it there. Have we uh, seen... I don't think we've seen any Pyrrhon's Claim yet. So we're definitely going to be looking for that. Because I think if he plays Titan and then we claim his board, and then start going face with 5 attack to knock off the Regalia, I think we can win that game. We're managing to grind out Titan, but only because he's not drawing Titan. Okay. Sunbloom, Sunriser. We can't actually get two heal procs. Um, I think this is our play. We have Sunraiser. Is that two heal procs? Yes, but I think just doing this is better. This Thunderhorn is doing a good job of space control, but that's it. No reason to play this. We'll just, we'll just hold our cards. Kind of missing the emulate already, but this is the play we chose. We have uh, Sunrise. Uh, Trinity of Samurai's Cleric for 6 damage AoE. Potentially a good Titan answer. Just have to be careful because if we let him hit us with his stuff, Titan has a lot of attack. Uh, after he plays Titan, then everything has a lot of attack. We just have to be careful we don't get complacent and let him kill us. <laughs> I think Spelljammer, we might actually just replace. We don't want him having any more than two cards in hand. The more cards he has, the higher chance of Titan. There's Titan. This does give us 6 damage AoE. We play those three. We can finish off the Titan with our face. Is 
There's no way to do it though. Ah, uh, that's not a good play. That's not a good play. We just have to do some stuff now because I roped. Pretty bad. God, Brim Titan. You heard it here first. Why is he playing it defensively? Does he have something better to go there? Silver Guard? Oh jeez, Bender, that hurts. That really hurts. Nothing to some bloom. One heal proc, two heal proc, We get him. That was a good play. I did a good thing. <laughs> We're still gonna lose. That was clean. That was clean. Okay, please die to double holy immolation. Please. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's shitty. No. Wait, is he dead to double holy ammo? 12, 14, but Regalia saves him 2 damage. Right? 10, 14, but Regalia saves him 2 damage.
Why have you got to do me like this? Okay, here's the plan. We put him to... Oh wait, no, that clears the artifacts. We'll clear his artifacts. Then we back off and top deck lethal. Sunstrike. Hmm. Potential lethal. We have enough damage for lethal, technically. But he's not gonna let us he's not gonna give that to us. He's gonna run away. So we have to replace this. And what are our options? Another Lucent. There's two more Lucent Beams. One or two more Sun Strikes. And that's it. Claim could dig us out. Claim would dig us out. So that's two, four, six outs. Sixteen. I don't like our odds. <laughs> What's the other option? We we can't deal with all these five sevens. We can't deal with the five sevens. We we just have to hope. Oh, um, We're one off? Jesus. There's no lethal here. We have to punch this, heal it, and then we're not standing on a heal tile. So his fucking Sunrise Cleric just saved the game. God damn. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Would have been lethal with some razor there. Right? Would it? No. We still would have been off, never mind. Anything wins. Herald? That doesn't win. Oh shit, he replaced the Dream Gazer. Going in, it's going in. Come on. <laughs> okay, there's no way that we live after playing Trinity Oath, right? The only thing that answers this is Aperion's claim, and we can't play that after we play Trinity Oath. Replace the Dream Gazer, like the balls. <sighs> Dead. 
Damn. Okay, what are the outs? Minion plus Holy Immolation doesn't quite cut it. Right? There's no Holy Immolation good enough, so we replace Holy Immo. Double Lucent Beam. Round 11. We're so dead. We're so dead. Alright. We played to our routes. Just didn't get them.